Okay, Roger, I'm going to show you how to set up an assignment in Blackboard. And this would be the easiest way to do it, I think. If you're going to just want something to get started next week, this is the best thing to do. So what I'm going to do now, the computer browsers you have to use with Blackboard, they're called Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. And what I did, um, I sent this to you. Here's a, an example you can use to set up your assignment. If you want, you can just cut, you can highlight this with your, with your mouse and right click and where it says copy, um, you can do that. And you can just put this into the assignment. But here are the downloads for the browsers. Okay, so you can use this. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. So here's Howard College. And you said you've already been using Blackboard, so I'm going to go down here and click on Blackboard. Now, um, obviously, all of ours look different. So I'm going to click on this class. This is one of my eight-week classes. And um, say so yours, I, I, I don't know how yours is set up. Um, you may have these tabs over here. But these tabs here on the left, and you don't have to have all the ones that I have, but this one here, is com it's, I clicked on the number nine, it's completely blank. You can see that. And if your class has content there, that's fine too. But what you want to do, you just you open up one of these tabs, one of the, the ones below. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go over here where it says assessments, and you're going to go down to assignment. Now, whatever you want to name your assignment, you're going to put it in this box right here. I'm just going to do a generic. I put assignment questions to answer. Um, <clears throat> well, and, and I'll do it. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to name it. I actually have a document for this. Uh, contagion questions now down here in this box and you can make this this little thing over here that has the arrows if you want to you can make this full screen and then you'd have to click on it again to get it back down to this I'm gonna leave it here but if you want to do this and you can word this however you want but you can simply copy this document that I showed you now what I would probably do on your computer there's a control key or like I said, you can, let's see if we can just, I write, if, if I right click on this and click copy and then right click again, you see where it says paste? Um, okay, well, it says I can't do that. But So what you want to do is highlight this and then on your computer keyboard, press down the control button and push C at the same time. Control copy. Control plus C. Or you can type this in if you want to. And then you can do Control V. V is in uh, violet. And it's going to put it right in there for you. Or you can just type this in if you want. Now these links, I put the links in there. You can find those too if you want to. Or you can just tell your students, make sure you download either Firefox or Google Chrome to their computer. Most people use Google Chrome anyway. But there are the instructions if you want to, to use this. Um, like I said, or you could just type it in yourself. So here are the you can little description of um, the assignment would go here. And then you would also want to here. Now this is the part where I'm going to put the little cursor down here. If you have questions on a Word document, this is where you can give it to your students. What you would do, this is one option. Uh, you can, well, this is about, or you can just put your questions into this blank if you want to do it that way even. But I'm going to click on this little uh, paperclip thing. It's going to bring all this stuff up. Uh, I wouldn't worry about any of these things. Um, I'm going to click on Browse My Computer. And down here on my, <clears throat> excuse me, computer, here are contagion questions. In biology, we have them watch movies sometime and answer these. So if this is your questions that you want to give your students, you're going to click on that. You click open. 
and you see it put it down here now it's giving you an opportunity here you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as yeah, contagion questions like that <clears throat> and then you would hit submit in the bottom right corner over here and then you're gonna hit submit one more time like that and see now you've put the questions on for them to be able to download it now you're gonna scroll down here you're gonna assign them a due date um, you just click this little box here's the time here's the actual date so you could click on the time here go down I usually have all mine at the end of the day it's whenever you want to do it you saw that it's a.m. p.m. you know anytime you want and if you're gonna have them do this next week see here you can set when you want it to be due like if you wanted it next Sun well Sunday April 5th whenever it is that's where you would put that in here it says points possible you can assign the points there um, I wouldn't worry about a rubric right now just post the questions now under here most of this um, I would leave blank I wouldn't even mess with this but this first thing here if you want to give them um, a lot of attempts at this particular assignment you can do that it has unlimited if you pick multiple it'll tell you how many or you can just pick single which I'd probably just leave it at single that just gives them one time to submit it. Um, it says here you can check submissions for plagiarism using safe assign. I wouldn't even do that. Okay, you're going to read their questions. Um, and I wouldn't click either one of these. Okay, just, just leave those blank. The grading options, I would also leave these blank for right now. Um, just make it very simple. And then display of grades. I'm going to click on this. I use a percentage and then I also have it as a letter. That's how it's going to show up in your Blackboard gradebook. Um, and I would leave, you know, leave these boxes checked. <laughs> um, don't uncheck these boxes. If you want your students to have the average for the class, you can check that box. Now down here it says display after. I'm going to click on this. This is when, when are you going to make this assignment available to them? Like if you wanted to start on Monday, which is going to be the 30th, or no, I'm sorry, 23rd, right there, the 23rd. And display until, now you already put the due date in when it's, when it's due, and the students can see that in Blackboard. Okay, and I... I actually didn't mean to I picked April I'm off on my days sorry um, yeah it, it would I guess it would be next Sunday it's whenever you want to do it, it would be the 29th but uh, down here the display until that's gonna leave it open uh, past the due date if you want it to be like I, I had it set as the 29th of the due date if you want to give them a couple of extra days just in case somebody forgets to do the assignment It'll still allow them to turn it in late, and if you want to, you could take points off at that point. If you want to put in your description up here uh, any late assignments, I'll take five or ten points off. But I usually leave it open a couple of days past the due date, and that gives them the opportunity to still complete it, and then if you want to take points off, you can. I wouldn't worry about tracking the number of views, and then I would come down here and click Submit. And you're ready to go. Here are your instructions. See down here it says uh, now you don't have to put all this in um, and it did kind of spread it out but and uh, I believe I said here um, yeah download the following document to your computer and this is the document and their view of this I'm gonna go with a student view um, all right, hold on I gotta make mine available this is my eight-week course so um, let me go ahead and just uh, this is the link I was working in. So let's try this again. There we go. So there it is. That's the link that I had that I put all my stuff in. Nine. Um, let's do this. Um, it's not going to show up until they won't be able to see it until you have um, until it's open. 
So just for purposes of this little video here, I'm going to make it open uh, last week. That way we can look at it. Let's try this again. All right. So this is their view. This is what they're going to see. So here would be all your instructions. If you want to leave the down, if you just want to put download Firefox or Chrome, that's fine. You don't have to have the actual links in here. But there are the instructions and there's the document. See, when they click on it, <clears throat> they can open it. There they are. So that's what they would be. They're going to save that to their computer. And then when they get ready to turn it in, um, oh, here we go. So, um, yeah, here's the thing we just clicked on. And so they're going to click on the assignment. Here's the due date. Here's the points possible. Um, there's the download link. And then right here, they can either write it in or when they get ready to turn it in, they, they're going to click on that. They're going to have their question saved. See, there it is. And then they're going to hit submit. And when they do that, it's going to go in the grade book. And you'll have to, once they turn everything in, when you start getting people turning things in, <clears throat> so you have to go over here to the grade book. So it's full grade center. And this is my class. I got a lot going on here. So it's probably this assignment. But there it is. See the assignment questions over here? It's going to create that for, it, for you in the grade book. And when you click, when they turn it in, it's going to have a little submission thing here. When you click on it, you can read their questions and then give them a grade then. I don't know. I hope that helps. Let me know. We can do a Zoom thing and I can help you set things up or whatever. But let me know uh, if you have any problems.